In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can add the flip action to a dynamic block in AutoCAD. If you would like to try this exercise with me, you can find a link to the exercise file in the description for this video. Here I have a countertop with a backsplash and a sinkhole, and I would like to take this block and be able to mirror it automatically using the flip action. I will double click on my block to get into the block editor, then click OK. Next, I'm going to start by adding a flip parameter. So I'll choose my flip parameter. If you think about using the mirror command, you have to pick two points to specify a mirror line. So we will do the same thing in here. The first point I click is where the grip is going to go. So I'm going to choose the midpoint of the vertical line here. Then for my second point, I'll just simply use polar tracking to track along the horizontal angle, then click to place my second point. Then I will click near my first point to place my label. I now have my flip parameter, but I have an exclamation point here indicating that I haven't associated an action with it yet. So I'll switch to my actions tab, then choose the flip action. The command line is prompting me for what parameter I want to associate this action with. So I will select flip state one here. Then it is asking me for the objects that I wish to flip or mirror. It is possible to select a subset of objects, but in this case I want everything, so I'll just use a big crossing and select everything on screen, then press enter. Just like that, I have added the flip action. I'll go ahead and close my block editor and save my changes to come out here and see how it works. I will select my block, then select the grip to flip it over the horizontal mirror line. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over a vertical mirror line as well. So I'll double click on my block, then click OK to get back into my block editor. Go back to my parameters tab and add another flip action. This time I'll choose the midpoint of the horizontal line here, and then click a second point to specify a vertical mirror line. Then select somewhere near the original point to place my label. Then once more, I can go to the actions tab, choose my flip action, select my flip parameter, then select everything to flip everything on screen. I will go ahead and close my block editor and save my changes. And now you can see that we can also flip it about a vertical mirror line as well. To summarize, if we want to create a mirror or flip action, we simply add in the flip parameter then associate a flip action with it, and then select the geometry we wish to mirror. That concludes this look at adding the flip action to a dynamic block in AutoCAD.